Here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can do the server side integration of Stripe Payment Gateway. So in the previous video, I already explained that how you can do the client side integration. So if you haven't watched that video, I will be adding the link into the description. So in this video, I will be showing you that how you can do the server side integration for SCA, strong customer authentication. So first of all, you have to go to stripe sca checkout all right so once you will be clicking over that you can uh, click on the first link strong customer authentication then you will be getting some information if you want you can read all these uh, useful information and we are interested to use a pre-built checkout page and then after you will uh, once you will be integrating you will be getting this type of checkout page all right so then we have two types of uh, uh, integrations one-time payments and recurring payments one time means yeah, you can collect only uh, one time and then again the customer needs to enter its uh, card details but the recurring in the recurring payments you can do uh, the subscription like things like uh, if uh, a customer has paid you some amount and you can reuse the uh, card details for the future use so uh, in this video we are gonna do one time payment for ser server side integration So here you will be getting one time payments with checkout. So here we have few steps to follow and then after we can uh, integrate this one. All right. We have the first step that create a checkout session on your server. So uh, uh, in which technology we are interested, we ha have to select from here. So in this video, I'm going to show you with the PHP. So I will be copying this code from here and I'm going to First of all, start my server. So I am going to open this checkout.php file in my uh, VS Code editor. So here in my VS Code editor, I am going to open this folder. Server side and going to select this folder and then this will be open. So here I have to paste all the code from here. So I have this code, I have copied that one and then I am going to write the PHP tag and inside of it I am going to paste that code. So here we have all the things. One more thing we have to add here is to use the Stripe, we have to add the Stripe library. So how we will be doing that? I have already downloaded the library which you can download from the GitHub so i have this library actually stripe dash php so i'm going to copy this from here and i'm going to paste it over here all right then again i will be going here and i'm going to import that into my file so stripe dash php forward slash init dot php actually Inside of it, we have a file which will be including all the uh, library files into my uh, checkout.php. So now I'm gonna proceed proceed with the next thing. So we have to redirect to checkout. So we have few JavaScripts. From here, I'm going to copy this and I'm gonna add into here. So I have to add a simple HTML structure. So I'm gonna remove this one and here I have to paste it then after I have to add few more lines of code so I'm going to copy this and then add a script tag 
and inside of script tag I am going to add this one then after I have some more code which I gonna copy and then paste so this is how we can use all the code from stripe so that's it so now what you have to do is you have to uh, add the session id so from here you are going to uh, add a variable here session id equal to php tag and here i am writing session id then semicolon and here i am also closing it then we can add this session id over here and this would be utilized so we also have to add the success url as well as cancel url so what does it mean it means that if our payment gonna successful then the user or customer would be redirected to this url otherwise on this url so we can make all the uh, parameters dynamic as well so what we can do is we can add some variables we can fetch the data from database using queries and then after we can add the variables over here in that way we could make it dynamic all right so once we did all the things then let's run uh, run this code but before that what i am going to do is localhost then i have server side all right so in in this we have checkout.php i'm going to click this one you can see that this is automatically redirected to the checkout page so what we can do is like we can add a new file here payment dot you can also say like payment.html file so we can add here some html code server side integration for example writing here actually and title is stripe all right then after i am going to add a link here and I'm going to add checkout.php and here is buy now so let me tell you how you will be running this localhost then after we have server side and then we will be getting two files payment.html as well so we have server side integration uh, let's click on buy now button and then automatically redirect it to the checkout page here we go and we can add here our email address so for example i am adding this one and then i have to add the card details so i am going to add this card detail over here this is 3155 and you can copy paste from anywhere actually we have uh, we have all the card details from we can get the details like test sca card numbers so we have here we can copy this and then paste over here so we can do something like that then we have for example abdul bari and we have uh, to select a country and then we can click on pay so you will be getting this pop-up this is representing that the customer authentication is going to be taken place so here you will be clicking on complete authentication if not then the payment would be failed automatically so here you will be getting all the information and now finally we end up with the yeah we end up with the uh, successful integration you can see that example.com success so what does it mean it means that we gonna redirect it to the success url all right which we had actually added into our 
checkout.php you can see that https example.com success and then success id all right so this is how all the things are uh, going on all right so i think you got the concept that how we are actually re, uh, redirected from towards the success url if the payment get failed then we will be redirected to the cancel url so let's verify that uh, let's verify that the payment has been added to our dashboard or not so let's go to the dashboard So if you are facing uh, any issue somewhere you can contact me I am uh, I will be adding all the details into my description so you can connect me with the WhatsApp or Skype so on uh, anyways so here we have view test data actually this is uh, this needs to be enabled when we are testing with the test mode so now we are gonna click on payments and here we have succeeded so just now I have added this email address so this record is representing that the payment has been successful with the 3d secure protection payment succeeded and everything all the details of the customer quantity unit price amount and total and then we have all the payment method details over here and all others uh, other things are added over here right and then at the end we will be getting checkout.session.complete means all the JSON file uh, which is just representing that our payment has been successful from when to when for example this event fired then this then this and then finally this this is representing that has succeeded alright so status is succeeded so that means uh, we gonna successful we have actually successful uh, done successfully done the integration of the server side so I think you might not have any confusion if you are still having a confusion in terms of integration or something like that you can connect me anytime I will be helping you out uh, for sure and if you are facing any technical issue somewhere in the website you can also connect me I will definitely help you out with all those issues so I because I am working from long time so I have some experience uh, to do all the stuff so if you are non-technical or might be technical but not aware about how to do the integration I will definitely help you out I have already uh, uploaded the content on my YouTube channel if you are unaware from that you can also go through the playlists and all the stuff it might be that uh, there are some useful con uh, videos which can help you uh, in terms of uh, technical aspect so feel free to connect me so see you in the next video bye for now thank you so much for watching this video all the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free so in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos in the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any have a nice day ahead.